Well, Emily Best, man, you got the best website about, for filmmakers and actually people who are interested in films, right? Your crowdfunding site is for anybody who's really interested in stories. You know, so yeah. what's it really do? So we are crowdfunding and distribution for independent film. That means if you're a filmmaker, you can come to the site and uh, raise money and raise interest for your film and build your audience. And if you're an audience member, you can get involved with the filmmakers early on in their process, and then you can watch the films right on our site. Oh, so well, how do I know if I'm an audience member? Or, or you mean like anybody interested in film and wonder what's going on or what? Anybody who likes watching stuff. <laughs> like spending time on our site. I see. So, so get off of YouTube and watch the real stuff here, huh? Yeah, well, so I actually really love YouTube because it gets people connected with all sorts of content um, that they've never had before. The difference is um, people don't get paid very well posting their videos on YouTube. And the fact is when, when you're watching stuff that really matters to you, it probably also matters to you that that person can make more stuff like what they're making. So what's really important to us is to connect the audiences directly with the creators so they can develop a relationship and then support those creators in making more things, right? We call that fair trade filmmaking. Oh, that's cool. So I, I can find like the, the next Soprano series on you for a young filmmaker that's doing something like that. Boy, uh, I sure hope so. Uh, <laughs> we do have some really exciting web series that are raising money, some beautiful documentaries, some amazing narrative films, both short and feature length. Uh -huh. um, there's really no limit to the kind of content you can find. Hmm. I think what you will always find on Seed and Spark is a really, really... Um, exceptional quality of storyteller. So are you vetted some way when you, if I'm a filmmaker to get my uh, work on your site? Yes, sir, you are. Um, we call it, we just vet for who, what, and why, right? Who is the team behind this and do they match the scope of the project? Uh -huh. um, what is the quality of filmmaking? So obviously if you're trying to raise money from a, from a crowd um, and you put together a pitch video and it stinks, like... <laughs> your ability to make movies um, and why is the most important actually because I really believe that that crowdfunding and that artists um, should not be in the business of asking for money but offering something to the community and then the community can, can decide whether or not it's valuable to them but it seems that you know being on your side or having there it's a way to show your heart about what you're doing and not some guy ah, Let's go sales pitch. You know, you're going <laughs> to. The most important thing is that it comes directly from the heart because if we see that it matters to you, uh -huh. I will be able to identify with what about that matters to me. Ah, uh, I see. And then so the other people who may contribute or what? Now, to contribute, do I have to be a fat cat with a cigar, you know, and, <laughs> and putting in millions so you hire my girlfriend or something like that or what? Well, yes, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> but, um, you actually can do it uh, one, five, 10, $25 at a time. And many, oh, many right. people do. Um, and we, we simply call it the price of participation, right? So it's a it's, price of a ticket at a movie I'm gonna see, that's like. Sure. sure, and what's really fascinating is that the most common uh, donation is $25, but uh -huh. the average donation on our site is like 170. Wow. Yeah, so. Wow, that's cool. So it has people to really do, get emotionally involved then. Yeah, and I think it has to do with two things. One is that the filmmakers on our site are offering really, really interesting perks to get involved. Uh -huh. um, and the other is people come back and contribute more than one time during a oh. campaign. Nice. Because the, the process of getting involved actually gets really exciting. You get to start to learn who these people are, how they think, how their creative process works. And I think as people sort of come to understand the value of that, um, they'll come back and contribute more than one time. Wow, so instead of watching a reality show on TV that's fake, <laughs> <laughs> I could be involved in real reality of right. someone making an important film. And that's right. That for 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, and I think actually it's really exciting to be able to get involved in the filmmaking process. Yeah. Um, our website works like a wedding registry, so oh. filmmakers list the actual items they need, and you can fund whatever you like. So I always love a wedding registry because I'm like, I'm going to get the colander. And everything <laughs> is about, they'll think of me. So it's a little bit like that, right? Except that you can fund 
camera and car rentals and uh -huh. bug spray and sunscreen and the food and the coffee. Oh. And believe me, they're never more grateful filmmakers as when you fund the coffee. <laughs> um, but, you know, props and, and wardrobe, things like that. So people can get really, really... That's my hat he's wearing. <laughs> that's my car he's driving. Yeah. Um, or that's my apartment that he's shooting in, which is right. even cooler. So our audiences can buy or loan items directly. So how about if I'm a filmmaker now and I want to go through the process? Besides, <laughs> i got to be decent at my work. But yes. even if I, I'm not, it sounds like you'll at least tell me I'm not decent and I'll go have to go home and, <laughs> and work on that. We, we give our filmmakers a lot of feedback on their pitches. I mean, it's not really for us to say whether or not you're a decent filmmaker. It really just has to do with um, your, is your pitch for the film that you want to make, does it match what you say you're going to make, right? Um, for us, it's really about helping them understand how to reach out to an audience. This isn't something that filmmakers have historically had to do. So, you know, on other sites, there's this sort of assumption like, here's the tool, use it and be successful. Right. <laughs> it's not that easy. So we work with our filmmakers to hone their pitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, not that easy. That's why I think you have to do things for love because you got to get over all those barriers and hurdles that are going to be in front of you. Yeah, and, that's and that's what's neat about the arts, that people usually are there, are, are there for other than just making a zillion dollars and we'll get over those hurdles, yeah. Yeah, because if they're in it for making a zillion dollars, they picked the wrong path. Exactly. <laughs> Go back to Wall Street. You can't even do it there anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Is there an entrance fee like uh, to do anything? What's that? Is there an entrance fee at all? No, not at all. Oh. No, in fact, you can um, you can sign up as a filmmaker or an audience member, uh -huh. and you'll automatically be awarded uh, site rewards points called Sparks. Oh, Sparks! Uh, <laughs> you can accumulate Sparks and use them to spend to watch any of the movies on our streaming platform. Oh. You can also spend them for discounts on memberships to Film Independent. Oh. Um, and to Big Vision Empty Wallet, and pretty soon to several other <clears throat> film organizations. Now, I don't know what Vision Empty Wallet is, but I could assume, yeah. <laughs> Empty Wallet is a wonderful storytellers organization. Oh, I see. They work with playwrights and filmmakers uh -huh. of all kinds. Um, they're, they've got an amazing, they're actually, a, a lot of that organization is made up of writers. Uh, yeah, well, that's the key to, to me so much. Yeah. Without the words, man, we're not there. Uh, and true. But your thing is like the biggest multiplex in the world. If I'm watching all these movies or be involved in the beginning of the movie or whatever. And so if I'm a movie buff, man, I got to know about you and what's coming down. Yeah. Because you're you're going to know it before everybody else. Well, and what's cool is if you are really a movie buff, your friends can follow you and see what you're watching and recommending. Oh, really? Uh, so wow. that you can sort of become a tastemaker inside the community. Ah. Oh. And if you're lucky, we might even select you to curate your own channel of content. <laughs> I see. So you could be Siskel and Ebert or something on your channel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's we, wonderful. We don't really allow for thumbs down. We think it should be a do no harm community. It's thumbs I, up or I, nothing, exactly. right? You get that's what I mean. I, I you know, to get abused, I mean I I don't want to get abused for free. You know, I get enough no. of that. Where, I mean, I don't want to pay to get abused. I get enough that's, of it for free. Right? That's right. That's and, right. And you're right. I mean, we all have bad parts about us, I feel. And and what I think we have to do in society is help each other to appreciate what's good about each other, you know, and, and do more of that. It's too easy to, you know, say what's bad. Yeah, <laughs> That's an easy. The nature of independent film often is that it is flawed, uh -huh. right? It's right. because it was made for almost no money. It was made by people who maybe weren't the most experienced. Um, but oftentimes you find these moments inside otherwise flawed films mm -hmm. that will burst your heart, right. you know, that, that are so perfect in their imperfection. So I think it's really, um, I think independent film needs a lot of help because right. it is profound, um, important storytelling um, it just doesn't happen always with a lot of polish. Right. And I, I feel like when you when you submit it to sort of the typical um, kind of rotten tomatoes mill, right. it's, it's never going to withstand it in the same yeah. way. 
right? And it shouldn't, because this is about a different thing. This is about shining a light on the 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 dark corners of humanity, on the on the insides of people, on the pieces of society we all need to know more about. And it's more real, you know, it's more authentic. It's more, I think, what we're all craving in society now. You know, a good home cooked meal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it's not unlike the slow food movement. Yes. Right? Where yeah. No, I don't really want to eat raspberries that were picked 10,000 miles away <laughs> and transported using a whole bunch of fuel. Actually, what I would really like is for the guy next door to bring me a little basket. Right. right? He will soon. <laughs> yeah. In some senses, we are in a place where films that are made for very small niches can find those audiences speak directly to them and and still sustain themselves so that's how i see us it's like a sort of a global slow food movement <laughs> local produce <Yes. laughs> from emily best that's right. well, thank you so much emily it's wonderful that you're here and wonderful thank service you. you're doing and what an honor and I hope we inspire other people not only take advantage of the wonderful stories you have on your site, but also to be encouraged by you who, who saw a need and, and are a filmmaker, a storyteller, and said, God, this is what America really needs. And you're giving it to us. So thank you so much. You're a hero. <laughs>